The first, the first time I, I fell in was easy money. I used um, what I had to for, for school books. And after whatever was left, you know, I didn't realize it, it wasn't going to last long. So, uh, you know, at 18 years old, you're out there, okay, free money, shopping, purses, new shoes. Uh, I mean, well, I didn't think about the consequences later. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau estimates that we have about $1.2 trillion in student loan debt in America. There are plenty of people who take out loans. You know, it's very, very common. So I, it didn't bother me that I had to do it. So we would go around and we would give presentations. I did a previous documentary, State of the Black College Student, where we talked about various issues. And one small feature of it was student loan debt. However, what we found is that everybody across demographics wanted to talk about student loan debt because it didn't matter if you were black or white, male or female, young or old, everybody was dealing with this student loan debt issue. So the student loan debt issue was ubiquitous. It was everywhere. Everybody wanted to talk about it. And so we decided we have to address this issue because it has become the issue of our time. I always said, if I didn't get a scholarship, I was going to see Uncle Sam. That's what I was going to do. Uh, my sister said, uh, why not get a loan? Don't worry about it. Just, you're going to get a job. You're going to be able to pay it back. That's how we thought. But no one really knows how it feels to pay something back at 17, 18, 19, 20 years old. Oh yes, it was free money. It was pretty much, you know, you can get a student loan and then you won't have to worry about working and you can get an apartment on campus if you take out a student loan. This is not free money. Okay, there's an American myth that allows us to feel like because it's easy money, it's free money. This is not free money. Like, Sally will find you. That's not like having an ex-wife or anything. Like, it's much worse. She is going to get 100. I run credits um, for apartment complexes because you have to meet credit wise. And I'm not lying to you about it. More than 80% of the people that I run have student loans. And most of them are in collections. It sounds great. A buck 20, a buck 87, $200, 250 a month on a $45,000 loan. That's really, if you look at how much is going towards interest, and that, you're not paying that, so you're ready to retire. When you get a student loan, they can give you so many thousands of dollars a semester if you don't have somebody to tell you, take it easy, don't get all that. I've watched people get three and four thousand dollars. Everybody else is doing it. I'm telling you something that you have not heard before because we are in a crisis situation. You must make better decisions financially and you need information and this is the information that you need.